Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's video. If you've seen my prior video on this iPhone 4, this is a 16 gigabyte iOS 4.3.1 iPhone 4. Pretty hard to find, pretty special. The problem with this is the battery. So you can see it is technically fully charged, indicated by the little plug in the battery. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it and see how fast it dies. Set it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in because this is the iPhone we're gonna take a battery from and replace this one with. This is another iPhone 4, but this one is on iOS 7.1. So nothing too special here. I don't mind putting a poor battery inside of this one. I'd rather have a good battery for the iOS 4 model. I believe this iPhone was in one of my Mystery Box Monday videos. I don't remember which one. Maybe week three, something like that. But this one is actually doing better than it has been. It usually lasts for like one to two minutes. But I've got my screwdriver set here. So while we wait for this one to die, we can go ahead and get the battery. Wow, this has got a stiff port. Actually, the screws are already out. So that means we can just slide the back off, slide it up, and then pull it off. Just like that. Oops. Very easy. And here is the inside of the iPhone 4. Looks like somebody, maybe myself, has been in here at some point because even the screw is missing. But I need to turn this off before we disconnect the battery. Okay, so on these devices there is this little metal bracket here that is usually held in with a screw. In this case there is not a screw there, but okay, there we go. So you lift that off and it's actually connected to the battery attachment, which then sits in there. So now the battery is disconnected, should be able to lift it out. Yeah, this has definitely been removed before. I don't know if this is an original battery. I'm not sure if this is an authentic Apple battery. Let's put that here and we'll open this up. This one's actually lasting longer than it has been in the past. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. All right, it gave us, I'm at three minutes and 19 seconds on the video, so that's how long this lasted. We will remove the screws, and that's gonna be this one. You good over here? Goodbye for sure that time. All right, we will remove these bottom screws. And then, same thing, we'll slide the back panel up. Maybe. Okay, I finally got it. I had to do that off camera. It was really stuck on there. And that might be why it looks like some of whatever this is has melted onto the battery. And it's like kind of, I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's some sort of like liquid damage because it's over here as well. That's kind of yucky. Anyways, here is the other battery. It looks identical to this one. Let's try to get this bad battery out and see what it looks like on the other side. I don't really recommend doing this, but sometimes some isopropyl alcohol will loosen the adhesive up underneath there. Wow, there we go. Okay. 
So here's the bad battery. Here's the good one. They look pretty similar. I'd say this is a legit Apple battery. So this is the bad one. We'll put that over here with the iPhone, the white iPhone 4. And then I want to clean up the inside of this one just a little bit. All right, let's put the working battery in here, just like that. We will snap this little clip into place, like that. And we'll make sure this turns on before we close it back up. And it does, that's a good sign. So we can go ahead and put the screw back in here. And, you know, I'm gonna clean the back panel while I'm at it. Okay. I mean, that looks like liquid damage, but neither this one or this one, the little water indicators are um, red or orange, which is the color they turn when they get contact with liquid. And there's another one in here, and I think there's one in the SIM card tray as well, but these look okay, so I'm gonna assume they're fine. So we will go ahead and put the back on. There we go. And now it is much easier to slide on and off. Then we'll put the bottom screws back in. There we go, this thing is back together. And let's see, the battery is working. Go ahead and turn on battery percentage. There we go, 18, and I think it was at 19 when we removed it, so that's a good sign. So we'll go ahead and plug this in and let that sit for a little. And then I will get this one closed up off camera, because I know this is the one you guys all came to see. Get one more look at that. All right, there she is, the beautiful iOS 4, iPhone 4, with a much better battery. No more random shutting off. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. I know there's a bunch of these guides on how to replace batteries on iPhone 4s online, but there's probably no one replacing an iPhone 4 battery on a model that is still running iOS 4 in 2023. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.